can't forget to fill in my eyebrows so they look fully filled in. I was right. I'm getting mad. <laughs> And one of the things that drives me crazy is the whole pick me, I'm not like other girls kind of girls. I hate it so much because it's essentially just putting other girls down to make yourself feel better about your own insecurities. And I can say this because I used to be one of these girls. Um, I was insecure. I felt like I couldn't be as good as some other girls in certain areas. So I started acting like I was better for lacking in those areas. I would put other girls down for doing things that I wasn't confident enough to do. And I ended up inventing this entire like type of girl and then took steps to be as different from that type of girl as possible because I'm not like that. And the whole thing is just ridiculous. Um, I'm so embarrassed whenever I look back at how I used to think in that time of my life um, because all girls have their own strengths and weaknesses and um, everyone should be able to be who they want to be without playing the comparison game. Um, but now that I've said how things should be, today we're going to take a look at some of the I'm not like other girls TikToks. Um, I might get mad. I don't know. My skin is my actual skin. When you take off my makeup, I'm not a different person. My skin is my actual skin too. Wow. That's crazy. What is that even supposed to mean? I'm not like other girls. When I wake up, I straighten my blonde hair to make the boys fall in love with me. <coughs> I wear the tightest Lululemon pants I can find. I wear super expensive tops so the boys think I'm rich. I wear super expensive Ugg slippers outside. Don't forget that Lululemon scrunchie. Can't forget my entire face of foundation so none of the boys can see my pimples that everyone has. Can't forget to fill in my eyebrows so they look fully filled in. Can't forget that mascara to make my eyelashes look longer than they already are. Can't forget that Gucci highlighter. Now, the only thing I forgot is my green Abercrombie & Fitch winter jacket. If the boys still don't like me, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I was right. I'm getting mad. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I listen to Panic! at the Disco. I love <laughs> Brandon Neary. I wear all black because being emo never went out of fashion. Yep. And hey, was that me in high school? <laughs> I'm not like other girls. Love the eye roll. I've been doing my makeup like this for years and I used to get bullied for it. And now the girls that used to bully me for it are doing it because it's cool. I'm not like other girls. Other girls copy me. By the way, I'm not making fun of these girls in these TikToks. I think a lot of them are doing it as satire, but still. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. All I wear is black. I wear Doc Martens and dresses because I think I'm edgy. I still listen to MCR and cry myself to bed. I say I'm going to kill myself every five seconds. Yeah, I feel like that's the classification. Like, there's other girls and emo girls. Like, those are the two types of girls you're allowed to be. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I text every guy I know and tell him that I'm ugly so I can get compliments. I say every day that I'm insecure but yet show my ass off on every picture. I friend zone guys who are good for me. I'm going back and forth on whether or not I want to break that one down into arguments. Um, like the texting other guys, I'm ugly. Yeah, if you text that out of the blue, you probably are looking for some kind of validation. Um, saying you're insecure and then posting pictures of yourself, though, that is not um, contradictory. Even though it might come across that way, like I'm insecure and I post selfies of myself on Instagram. And um, one of the reasons I do it is a way to combat my insecurity is I'm trying to build my self-confidence by posting pictures of myself that make me feel good. Um, 
And also, you can be insecure and have days where I'm like, okay, I feel like I look good today. It happens. The last one, um, given that that audio was a guy saying, I friend zone guys that are good for me, sounds like you're talking about yourself, and um, I'm pretty sure you're a friend zone for a reason. I'm not like other girls. My favorite color is yellow, and I cry a lot. All my friends are smarter than me, and the only thing I have going for myself is my personality. Oh, we got the girl next door type of I'm not like other girls. That is a rare find. I watch The Office. I only wear sweatpants. I use TikTok ironically, or so I say. I don't need a boyfriend. I have my friends. I'm not like other girls. The only reason I'm on TikTok is to make fun of it. It's sad, but there probably are girls that non-sarcastically say that. Like, yeah, a part of it makes me mad, but mostly it makes me sad that um, girls feel like they're in such competition with each other that there's that need to put down uh, other girls and to make yourself seem better than other girls. It, it, it really is sad. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. I may look like a typical e-girl because I've got a septum ring and eyeliner, but let me tell you something, I can't read. So I'm not like other girls. That's a new one I haven't seen. I'm not like other e-girls, huh? I'm not like <gasps> other girls. It's the original I one of this sound. I every guy I know and tell him that I'm ugly so I can get confident. <laughs> I say every yes, day that I'm insecure thank you. but get my ass off on every picture. <laughs> I friend zone guys who are good for me. So there's also this not like other girls uh, Reddit and I decided to come over to check it out since I'm doing this video and just the description. Do you think everyone else is trash? Do you think you're the only unique person on the planet? Do you constantly feel the need to press down others in order to define yourself? Then this is the place for you. This sub is about people trying to be unique by defining themselves outside of the norm. Oh my, this. I, I truly could not be more anti-pick me. I love makeup and getting nails done. I can gossip for hours. I do not want to participate in any predominantly male hobbies. Could not care less about cars or the stock market. I will never split the bill on the first date. All I want is to look hot at any given moment, go out for food, and buy overpriced oat lattes in cute coffee shops. Smooth brain girly supremacy. Okay, so this is like a not not like other girls. This is saying, no, I am like other girls and I'm better because of that. Like, if you have to say, I'm not a pick me, then sounds like you're being a little bit of a pick me. Here we have another screenshot of TikTok. Now I'm not worried because she doesn't know a half click up is neutral. So I'm so much better than any other girl he could be talking to because I know everything there is to know about cars, so um, I'm not like other girls who don't know anything. Like, it's one thing to say, I'm not worried because my guy is super into cars and wants someone that shares his hobby with him, and that's a hobby that we share, that's something we bond over, that's something we do together all the time. That's different than saying, oh, she's lesser than me because she doesn't know as much about XYZ. When you're getting ready for prom, but then remember, you're not like other girls. Oh, crap, I need to put on Converse and leggings under my dress because I'm not like other girls. Ah, <laughs> oh, we have one of the traditional not like other girls. Other girls. Makeup, slutty clothes, loves pink, wants 500 boyfriends, eats salads with two L's. Me, has one septum ring, no makeup, baggy clothing, tomboy, hates pink, is gay, watches anime, and plays games. <laughs> that, the hates pink one, I relate to that so much because um, I used to be like, I hate the color pink, pink is my least favorite color just because pink is labeled such a girly color so I could not like it. Now, admittedly, pink is not one of my favorite colors. I'm not huge on pink, but certain shades of pink, like hot pink, I do like. It's the pastel pink that is just not my thing, but there's also colors I like less than it's like orange. Orange is an ugly color. That's not me trying to be a certain kind of girl. I just think orange is hideous. <laughs> Which of these did you find the cringiest? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community, because you are ineffable.